Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And Kamala Harris's campaign and herself are pretty mad right now after ABC rejected their offer to try to change the upcoming debate. I like how the other mainstream media outlets are covering, like Trump agrees to debate things. No, it was Kamala Harris who was a holdout. It was Kamala Harris who was trying to change the rules at the last minute in order to try to have her girl boss moment. Uh, that way she could utilize that in any up. Uh, upcoming fundraising or whatever uh what she wanted to do was change the actual uh the format of the debate where there would be muted microphones and they would have stand up and they would have no notes to help them along she wanted to be able to sit down have the microphones on at all times and then of course have her cheat sheets uh available for her for her talking points kamala harris is one of the dumbest individuals out there in politics today uh, she is not a very smart individual. She has no debate experience whatsoever. The one debate that she did participate in, she was absolutely annihilated by Tulsi Gabbard. I'm not a big Tulsi Gabbard fan, but Tulsi Gabbard absolutely took her to the woodshed. Uh, so much so that Kamala Harris dropped out of the 2020 presidential race shortly after that debate, after being embarrassed by Tulsi Gabbard on stage and being called out for all of her crappy policies and positions. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this story being broken to us by Colin Rugg over here on Twitter. And this is what he uh, notes on here. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Here we go. It says, ABC reject Kamala's attempt to change the debate rules as it appears to be increasingly worried about the upcoming debate. Harris, who was too nervous to debate on Fox News, tried to make a last minute changes on ABC. These rules included having a cheat sheet, being seated, and keeping both microphones on at all times. ABC News released an email saying that the originally agreed upon terms would be used for this debate. The debate will be very similar to the CNN's June 27th debate between Biden and Trump. Candidates will be standing. There will be no audience, no pre-written note cards, no props, and mics will be muted when the candidate is speaking. The debate will go on for 90 minutes. Kamala Harris has minimal debate experience and was demolished by Tulsi Gabbard. Let's take a uh, uh, a trip down memory lane, will we? Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And worse yet, in the case of those who were on death row, innocent people you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so there is no excuse for that and the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor oh you owe them an apology senator harris <laughs> she was left speechless and she did not do very well in that debate moving that uh moving forward after that point and of course um <clears throat> Tulsi was absolutely correct on all of those points that uh, she made about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris has zero, zero debate experience. Trump, who has had to debate Biden three times, debated Hillary Clinton three times, and debated the biggest Republican field back in 2015 slash 2016, has plenty of debate experience. And he actually has Tulsi standing in as his debate partner, uh, prepping for this upcoming debate against Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is going to run into a buzzsaw when it comes to that debate come, um, come here very soon. And of course, she was banking on ABC to bend to her will and continue to protect her and her interests. So there, therefore, she could get away with trying to get her girl boss moment in like she did with against Mike Pence when the mics were on. And she's like, excuse me, I'm speaking. I'm speaking now, right? Her big girl boss moment is what she wanted. And she's going to be denied that now because of the rules that are uh, stay, still staying in place for this upcoming election or upcoming debate, excuse me. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great.